Good morning, it's day two of our How Gills Walk and it's another glorious day and a very generous and very pleasant farmer has allowed us to park here and uh, so thanks to him, very nice of him. We're at Bowderdale and a very nice little place it is too to start off our walk. You can give me some stick. <laughs> We're going to try the poles out today and see how we get on. Full tummies from a lovely breakfast at the Kirkby Stephen Independent Hostel. Yummy, so, yummy. Yeah, yummy, yummy it was. Some very nice people in there on the coast to coast. And we had some very interesting conversations. Anyway, it's uh, goodbye from him, and it's goodbye from him. From me, yes. From him. Oh, yeah. Is it? I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from me. No. No, I've heard the same. Yeah, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> In a perfect world, we would have preferred to have completed the Howgill Fells as per Wainwright's book, but living 350 miles away in Southend-on-Sea in Essex, sadly it just isn't feasible for us to do his 25 walks over these lovely green giants. On this our second day in the area, we take on a much longer walk of 12 miles 19.5k over the summits covered in walks 16, 17, 18 and 21 of the guide. The walk takes us over two five mile ridges either side of the Bowderdale Valley. We start on the western ridge and walk along the Dales Highway Path to the aptly named West Fell. We then drop in a westerly direction to get in the summit of Langdale Knot. Returning to West Fell, we carry on along the ridge path to the next summit, Hazelgill Knot. Moving further along the ridge, we eventually arrive at the northern tip of this area's highest mountain, the Calf. However, we turn east, dropping steeply to an area known as Hare Shore to get a view of Courtley Spout, one of the spectacles of the area. We then continue our drop to the valley floor for a break before making the steep ascent up Bowderdale Head to Yarlside and the start of our second ridgewalk. It is then another steep down and up to the summit of Ken's Griff. We then follow the Ken's Griff Ridge for a short distance before turning northwest to ascend Randy Gill Top. Another steep descent takes us to an area known as Leith Gill Bridge before we ascend to the final summit of the day, Hooksy. Then we enjoy a lovely gradual ridge walk descending all the way back to the car. bashing on. Doesn't like waiting for me. <laughs> Got the poles out today. Nice gentle green slope so we're making the most of those.
up, laying down knot, and just drop to this little viewpoint here. Just beautiful. Because I don't know many of these fells, I can't name them, but I will put little lines up letting you know what they are in the video. What a beautiful, beautiful valley. Just gorgeous. Superb. Really wonderful. Just going back up there now to West Fells, we dropped to do laying down knot. You can probably hear a bit of wind, but oh, it's just light, it's nothing. Oh, we got some high ones to do another day. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. Just carrying on now from Westfell, having gone over there to Langdown Knot, and we're, we're cracking on along the main drag. Fantastic, what a day! we're at the halfway point we're going to be now walking back over those which we're looking forward to there's Dave the calf is within touching distance but we've got another day to do that one so we're going to leave it till we've got it planned and we look back over the fells that we've just done which are very nice very nice indeed this is great walking really good walking Anyway, we're at the halfway point, time to turn left, in this case, and head off towards the next ridge, onwards. bit of wind so I don't know whether you can hear this you're gonna hear some wind but I'll oh, cut it out we've dropped down now from Hare Shore and we're now going to get ourselves up to Yarl side nice little break looking at courtly spouts over there we're going up there Here we are then, Yarl side, bag and tag. Okay. Hey! <laughs> you haven't had a fist bump for a while? Yeah, I didn't want to Oh, do <laughs> Alright, nice. Well done.
fantastic. Well done. Just to rub it in, I've got to drop down here now and go up there. Oh, you love it. You know you love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> I will have some pictures first, shall we? Dropping down from Yarl side, beautiful views. We're going up there now, Ken's Griff, and Dave is just making his way down Yarl side. Nicely stepped, but uh, you've got to be careful, so take your time. Always the rule. Got all the light under the sun today, so can just take our time, no rush at all. And that's quite a drop there. 692 I believe, yard side. So, yeah, gotta be a little bit careful coming down there. <laughs> Not that we're coming down 692 meters, because obviously we're staying up on the ridge. Not that Dave will consider this a ridge. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know you're here, Dave. Ken's Griff, bag and tag. There you go, bag and tag. So tell me, David, uh, what did you think of that walk up to Ken's Griff? No, you don't want it. Nobody <laughs> wants to know, I think. <laughs> the aptly named Randy Gill fell. Talking of Randy. Here comes Dave, bagged and tagged, Randy Gill fell. The good thing is these are easy, aren't they? Nothing like the lakes. <laughs> anyway, well done, mate. That was a bash up there. Well done. miles in and now we've got this lovely ridge all the way down it's a beauty we've done all the fells we needed to do today it's been a long one we're seven hours in in terms of time and we're nine and a half miles as I said but we're doing all right it's been a great day we've taken our time here loads of breaks it's been quite a few ups we've literally had to drop down into one valley and come up from from there because we needed to do the how gills. How gills? How gills? What? You'd recommend it to anybody? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Boris Johnson, Michael Gove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Donald Trump. 
Oh yes, I forgot, Mr. Hunt. Mr. Hunt? Yeah. Yeah? Get blisters and with a bit of luck, break a leg or something and uh, wonder why he has to wait on the hospital. <laughs> Call the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Onwards. We're back at the car after, well, a fantastic walk, no question about it. Two ridges dropping down to a whole valley and, well, just wonderful. How was it for you, David? Yep, fine, as I keep saying, did it, enjoyed the views. My feet don't feel too good at the moment, but they'll be all right later. Yeah, it was a long old day and uh, I think we well, we're seven o'clock, aren't we? And we left at quarter past ten. So you can do the maths. That's uh, nearly nine hours we were out there for twelve and a half miles. Very good, considering what we did. Yeah. Lots of ups and downs on this. If you consider this walk, you need to be aware of that. Um, I, I will post what the height total ascent was and indeed the mileage, and you'll see. And uh, yeah, this is no easy walk, but on a day like this, the views were just tremendous. And anybody who thinks about doing it, don't do it without these. Oh yeah, yeah, coming down with the poles made all the difference to protect our knees. There was some big, steep drops. Uh, so that's why we're doing this little video. We just want to warn you about this. Um, it's, um, it's a difficult one, but a goodie. The views, well, you saw them. Fantastic, wonderful in this weather. Anyhow, as always, I might. And we'll see you out there. Onwards. Mm -hmm. Take off. <laughs> After the success of the last meetup in March, the Fat Boys on Tour walking group are having another get together on the 22nd of September 2018. We would be very happy if you could join us for a ferry ride, a walk and drinks after. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube website, all 214 Wainwrights captured in video as well as the outlying fells and various other walks. Next up will be the Howgill Fells and the adjoining fells. As always, hopefully one day, we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.